Hello, everyone. Uh, thank you uh, so much for taking time out of your busy schedule uh, to be here today. I really wish that we could be doing this in person, uh, but I do look forward to hopefully meeting you all very soon uh, in Houston. I want to thank uh, President Lebron, Dr. Joe Carlgaard, and Stacy Mosley for entrusting me with the great privilege of leading this program. Uh, when I visited campus, it became very clear pretty quickly uh, that Rice truly is a special place. And a lot of that has to do with the wonderful people that make up the Rice community. Through my conversations that day, uh, everyone just spoke so highly about their experiences at Rice and the excitement on campus about Rice athletics and, and most importantly, women's basketball. The administration's commitment and support uh, for the program is just top notch. And I am very honored uh, to be the next coach uh, here at Rice University. Uh, I wanna thank my family, uh, my husband, Yorick, and our three beautiful girls, Nyla, Halen, and Elena, for their constant support and love. They have you know, been behind me through this entire process and I couldn't do it without them. They are a very large part of my why. Why I work so hard, why I want to succeed so badly is to set an example for them that they can do anything that they set their minds to. I say it all the time, I am a better coach because I'm a mom and I'm a better mom because I'm a coach. Uh, Yorick is, he is my rock and um, he's been there through everything and walking through this journey with him beside me reminds me how blessed I truly am uh, to call him my husband. Um, sorry for getting emotional, but obviously they mean a lot to me. So um, also I wanna thank my mom and dad who committed uh, so much of their time supporting me in the game of basketball, um, driving, actually from coaching me uh, some on my very first teams, driving me all around the world for AAU basketball, probably missed two of my collegiate games uh, in four years, and, and then continuing on their support by um, following my teams uh, throughout my coaching career. So I thank them from the bottom of my heart, and I truly love you guys. Um, I want to thank the previous programs uh, that I've worked with, my alma mater, Appalachian State, James Madison University, and NC State. I've been very fortunate uh, to coach some amazing young ladies and uh, work for some incredible bosses in uh, Westmore and Kenny Brooks. They both taught me a tremendous amount about the game of basketball, but most importantly, they taught me how to do things the right way in your program. Uh, I have <clears throat> had wonderful coworkers that I've thoroughly enjoyed working alongside and have developed lifelong friendships with, as well as the support from some incredible administrators, Charlie Cobb to Jeff Bourne, Dr. Uh, Yao, and most recently, Boo Corrigan. I truly believe that all my experiences in the last 15 years have really prepared me for this day and the days that are to come. And to my team, <laughs> well, I mean, saying that is like a dream come true. Um, I am so grateful that I get to go on this journey with them. I've had the opportunity to meet with the players virtually, uh, as well as the incoming freshmen, and they are just a tremendous group of young ladies. In recruiting, I've always tried to recruit the total package player, someone who can not only excel on the court, but in the classroom, as well as in the community. And here at Rice, the players on our team are exactly that. So I feel very excited about where we are at and where I know we can go. Coach Langley did a wonderful job getting the right type of players here, as well as accomplishing so much on the court in a short amount of time. And I am looking forward to building upon that success and taking it a step further as well. We are going to do things the right way. Uh, we're going to be around, surrounded by wonderful people day in and day out. We are going to work really hard, but have a lot of fun. And because of that, I know we're going to win a lot of basketball games. While basketball is very important, I understand that that is only a portion of what I am called here to do. I get the opportunity to impact these young ladies' lives from the time they walk on the campus until the time they walk across the stage, earning their degree, and then even beyond into life. And that is not something that I take lightly. It'll be our job to mentor, develop, and prepare our ladies for, when, for life when the ball stops bouncing. And those conversations, those moments, those relationships, those are all incredibly important to me. 
So in closing, I really just want to say my family and I feel very blessed to become part of the Rice family. We are thrilled about moving to Houston and meeting everyone that makes up the Rice community. Go Owls. Thank you so much, Lindsay. And, and at this time, we'll open it up to questions and uh, just a reminder to, to raise your hand virtually to do that. <clears throat> All right, first we'll go to Chris Gardner. Coach, um, congratulations. Have you had a chance to speak with Nancy Mulkey? Uh, I have not uh, had a chance to speak with her. Um, it's my understanding that, uh, you know, she's wanting to pursue uh, occupational therapy, which is something that is not at Rice um, for, and so I, I think she wants to pursue an opportunity um, to get that degree and, and or to, since she has her degree from Rice to continue on her occupational therapy journey. And what did you know about Rice women's basketball before you took over? I'm sorry, what did I know about Rice before? Yes, ma'am. Obviously, uh, I knew uh, Tina when she was at Maryland and I was at NC State. So when she got the job, just kind of started following uh, her journey, following uh, her success and, and, and knew that she did a tremendous job. Uh, and now seeing it firsthand with the type of players that are in her locker room and all the success that she's had. I mean, she's, she's done a phenomenal job. And a lot of that has to do with who she is as a person, but also what Rice University uh, is about. And it's easy to recruit uh, to a university that has a nationally known name. And so I think that that's exciting. I'm excited about that part as well. All right, next we'll go to Randy McElvoy. Hey coach, congratulations on the new job. Just to, to follow up on the recruiting end of things, uh, now that you're coming to Rice, what is your philosophy on recruiting with the, the talent base here in Texas and the surrounding states? Yeah, so again, I mean, recruiting is, you know, it's the, it's the backbone to a successful program. So it's going to be about recruiting those total package players uh, that can help us on the court, that are going to compete at a high level in the classroom, and that are going to represent the university really well in the community. Uh, so again, nationally known name of Rice, it doesn't have to just be recruiting in the state of Texas. I mean, again, their roster right now has got people from all over, and I think we're going to continue uh, to do that and continue to recruit the best players and, and the best student athletes that we possibly can. But again, they're going to be great people, uh, and I won't compromise on integrity um, or character uh, just because of a talented player. Next up, Matthew Bartlett. Hi, Lindsay. Uh, how difficult was the decision to, to make the move and, and come to Rice after being established where you were and, and uh, having a pretty successful run in CAA tournaments and the like? Yeah, um, so I, again, I'm, I'm very fortunate to have been a part of NC State for the last eight years and um, put a lot of hard work into it. Um, and I'm very proud of, of where the program is at. Uh, and that makes leaving hard. Uh, if you do things the right way and you build relationships with people, it's always gonna be uh, hard to walk away from a place that you spend a lot of time at. Um, so again, leaving a great place is hard, but coming to a great place is, is pretty, a pretty easy decision. So was I sad to say my goodbyes? I was, but I'm super excited and, and thrilled to, to be here. So again, I think it was just, um, when you do things the right way, it's always hard to leave. Um, but I'm, I'm very excited about being here. And then once you do get your feet on the ground, what's your kind of immediate uh, uh, to do's? What, what are you uh, going to start with uh, out of the gate? Well, I, like I mentioned, uh, I've had an opportunity to meet virtually with the players, uh, but I'm excited about get, getting on, uh, on campus and being with them face to face and developing those relationships. Uh, because trust is obviously going to be very important. Uh, once you build those relationships, the trust comes. So continuing to build the relationships with our players uh, is first and foremost. I want them to be excited about it, uh, as excited as I, as I am. Getting on the court with them when we're allowed is obviously going to be a priority. Getting to know one another on the court and how we operate, how we tick, what makes each one of them go. That's all important. Um, staff making sure that I have the, the best staff surrounded. I mean, first time head coach, I know I'm only gonna be as successful as the people that I surround myself with. So I want to 
I don't want to hurry and make rush decisions. I want to make sure I'm doing it the right way and when I'm getting my, my staff completed. So staff, players, um, and then obviously meeting everyone in, in the rice community and just building those relationships and beginning to collaborate and, and learn from everyone, learn from everyone, the things I need to know about rice, the things I need to know about Houston, all those are things that I'm, I'm ready just to be a sponge and, and learn from everyone. All right, next we'll go to Jason Bristol. Hi, Lindsay, uh, Jason Bristol from KHOU TV in Houston. Um, Typically, coaches come into a new situation and the program's struggling. They have lost a lot of games. But this, this program, this team is coming off a 23-win season. Certainly, you're losing, potentially losing a number of key players. But so how do, you, how do you view what's in front of you, I guess, short term? Yeah, I'm really excited about where the program is at. And I think the culture is already there. That's exciting. Uh, I think sometimes, you know, some head coaches spend – two to three years just trying to get the culture right and they can't focus on the basketball side of things because everything else is is such a whirlwind with the off the court stuff so I'm excited I get to just go in and and build relationships that with the players that are there and it's really about basketball it's it's not about all of the other things that can get you sidetracked and, and take away your focus and your attention so I'm really excited about where the program's at and just continuing the success um, like I mentioned before, Coach Langley, you know, did a great job, and I'm just excited to continue on that and would love to, you know, take it a step further. Thank you. Back to uh, Chris Gardner. Coach, as far as you know, had any games for this coming non-conference uh, season been established, and have you thought about that yet for non-conference opponents? Um, I know that Stacy and I talked briefly when I was on campus that the schedule wasn't 100% completed, so I would have some opportunity to kind of put my stamp on what the schedule was going to look like. Uh, we really haven't had a time to sit down and see what is there, what is not, what's lacking. So once I do see that, um, obviously going to do a bunch of research and figure out uh, what I'm lacking, what I need to play, who I need to play, um, and kind of go from there. But again, I'm going to be, uh, be very mindful of all the uh, games that we add, and I want it to be as competitive as possible while also uh, gaining a lot of confidence to go into the Conference USA uh, slate and be really prepared for the, for the season. And how would you de describe your coaching style? What do you like to see from your teams? I want to play fast. I want to score in transition before the defense gets set. If we don't score in transition, I want to play four out, one in, and let the defense kind of pick their poison. Are they going to double down on our post? If they don't, hopefully our post can score one-on-one. -on -one. If they do double down, uh, we're going to kick it out and, and shoot open shots. Um, I really like four players around the perimeter that are uh, not just one-dimensional players. They can create off the bounce as well as shoot the ball. So defense can pick their poison there again. Do they help in to stop the drive? If they do, we kick out, we shoot it. If not, we're going to get easy layups or open shots. So offensively, you can't always control night in, night out if the ball goes into the hoop or not. Uh, but the things we can control every night, and that will be an emphasis, is defense and rebounding. Uh, we want to be disruptive on the defensive end, uh, do a variety of different things to keep the, uh, the other teams off balance and off rhythm, and hopefully create turnovers to allow us to score fast. And then every night, we have to make sure we, we win the rebounding battle and never get out rebounded. So again, offense is great and want to score a lot of points and want to score fast, but also know that defense and, and rebounding are the things that are going to really help you uh, win championships. Anything else for Coach Edmonds or Joe Cargard? All right, Chris. One more thing, if I can, Kenny. Coach, what do you know, or what did you know prior uh, taking over about Conference USA, women's basketball? Yeah, I, I think it's a, a great conference. Obviously, um, one thing, my husband was a former uh, college football coach, uh, and he coached at UNC Charlotte, so pretty familiar uh, with Conference USA from his time there. Um, and again, just being around the basketball uh, game for the last 15 years. Uh, following different conferences and different programs, having friends at different avenues and, and different uh, universities. So, yeah, I think it's a competitive conference. I think it's great. I think um, I'm excited about being uh, at the top of it, hopefully year in, year out, and, and winning a lot of championships. 